This is Transformers 96 here with my answer video to my Q&A, my 2000 subscriber Q&A. And um, yeah, so here we go. So, got a lot of good questions. Um, I, I mean, I just put up the Q&A video yesterday and I'm already starting to film the questions. So I don't know total how many questions I have because it hasn't been a week by the time I'm filming this. By the time I post it, I plan to post it about a week, week and a half after my initial Q&A video. So yeah. So, so, um, I might do this, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it in either just part one, part two, there possibly be a part three, and I doubt it, but maybe, maybe, maybe part four, but I don't think that's going to happen, so yeah. So, um, so I got a lot of good questions from a lot of good people, I will be moving the camera from different locations, uh, just... Uh, on my collection so that you get a little different view and it's not just the same thing the entire time and uh, Yeah, I'll answer your questions in order like I said if you asked a question that somebody already asked uh, Before I'm just not gonna re-answer it to purely save time if you know time was not an issue I would uh, I would go ahead and ask away, but I really do not want to make or sorry answer away I really do not want to make a uh, super long video because the last Q&A that I did was uh was really long, like 45 minutes, so I'm going to try to cut it down by doing multiple parts and not answering a few questions just because I have already answered them, um, you know, previously in this video. Uh, so yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so the first set of questions come from the production trinity, and he asked me about five questions. Uh, first one is, how much money do you make on YouTube? Um, I'm not, I'm not just gonna tell you. I just don't feel comfortable. Uh, to be quite honest, and I'm sure you've heard a lot of people say this, but I am, you know, I honestly mean it. Uh, I am not doing this for the money. Um, if I was getting not a dime, I would still be putting out the same amount of videos and everything like that. Uh, to be honest, when I first started doing YouTube, I had no. idea idea that you could make money just, you know, as a regular person starting out on YouTube. I had no idea. Um, I thought that YouTube was just going to put advertisements on your video and you wouldn't get a dime from it. That's just, that's how I thought it went. So to learn that that wasn't true and that you could make money was really awesome. And uh, I think that about 100% of the money I make on YouTube, I put back into the toys. Um, you know, I'm positive 100% that, uh, that I make, I put back into the toys and therefore put back into the videos. And uh, yeah. So I think it's a nice little circle that it goes around, so I really do like that. Uh, second question, what type of computer do you have? Honestly, I do not know. Uh, I'm not a techie person. I don't even know, like, I, I, I can't answer that. I'm really sorry. I got another question, that, uh, another person that asked the question, uh, what type of camera do I have? I just, I don't even know if, it, you know, I'm sorry, I just don't know. Uh, number three, how tall are you? Just asking random questions. Uh, so I'm, I'm about six feet tall. Uh, fourth question, what is your favorite song? I really do not have a favorite song. For a lot of time in my life, I really just did not care about music too much. Um, recently, I, I like music. Uh, I do not... Most of the time, I'll just listen to a song and really don't, you know... Uh, look at the artist or anything like that. Um, I don't have a favorite song, but you know, I, I do like a little bit of techno, and the, my favorite kind of like group that does that is Daft Punk, which did, you know, the, uh, the score for Tron and everything. I kind of like them, so I hope that that's close enough to an answer. And then, uh, what's another one? And... And TV show. TV show is very hard because uh, I watch a lot of different type of stuff. Um, one that I wouldn't expect to be my favorite, but now thinking about it, I think it is my favorite would have to just be the, uh, oh, it's non-geeky. Uh, uh, oh, geez. Sorry, I skipped one of the questions. Sorry. Um, but I'll get back to that. And But what I think it is is uh, The Celebrity Apprentice. I don't know why I really enjoy uh, Celebrity Apprentice and just... Whenever it's on, I'm just really excited to watch it, so I guess that that would have to be my favorite show. And then the next one, I need a second to think about, because I skipped this when I was going over what I was going to say, so hold on a second. Okay, his next question was, um, uh, and what's your favorite non-geeky movie? Uh, good question. Um, it was really hard, that's why I had to pause it, because I really had to think about this, because... Uh, a lot of my favorite movies all are considered geeky with, uh, you know, like, um, uh, science fiction movies and superhero movies, of course, and everything like that. Um, I, 
I can't pinpoint a favorite. Uh, I can I have hard enough time pinpointing a favorite superhero movie. So just a random movie, you know, is really hard for me. But a couple that I really liked that I my mind went to when I thought about it. Um, I don't know if this is considered geeky, but Night Before Christmas. I've just I've always loved that movie, and uh, so I love that as well as. Um, this is an odd one, but I love Titanic. I don't know why. I have always loved that movie, and uh, so that's that might be my favorite non-geeky movie. Um, I think the world loves it though, because it's uh, in the, it's made the second most money, uh, just in front of Avengers and just behind uh, Avatar. So yeah, so I really love uh, Titanic. So yeah. So now his next question was uh, favorite sport. And um, I'm not a big sport person, so it's not like, oh, definitely this one. But my favorite sport would probably have to just be basketball. I enjoy watching basketball. I don't watch it much. You know, I watch the Super Bowl. I just, I'm not a big sports person. Um, but uh, probably my favorite one to watch would have to be basketball. So yeah, so that wraps up his questions. And um, unless he, if, if he ends up asking another question uh, that, you know, before the time limit's up, because I'm shooting this very early, then I will add it. But for now, it's the last question. So there you go. Let's go on to the next person. All right, next question comes from, uh, uh, what does it say? Rich from 04. So yeah, so he asked me a pretty good question. Uh, have you ever dreamed of joining an actual job of a certain company that deals with your liking? Uh, you know, Hasbro, Marvel, etc. Uh, absolutely. I really would like to get into some type of profession that deals with toys uh, and or, you know, the the type of, uh, you know, like the type of movies that I like, but mostly the, just the toys. I would love to, uh, to, I, I haven't, you know, thought really hard on which, uh, type of thing that I'd be interested in, but I'd love to deal with toys for, um, for a living, you know, just whether designing or anything like that. And, uh, I might, I might seriously pursue it. And, uh, so I absolutely have thought of it. It's just, it's such a passion for me that I'd love just to professionally work with them. And, um, that would be quite fantastic and I'd be ecstatic to do something like that. So, uh, very good question. On to the next person. Alright, the next questions are from Nightwing9797. The first question is, have you been working on your collection for a long time? Um, not, not terribly long. Uh, everything that's in here was probably, I'm almost 100% certain on saying that 99% of the stuff that's in this, uh, that's in this room, uh, came in the last three years, pretty much since I started reviewing toys. Uh, so probably just over three years. And um, of course, you know, I bought toys before, but I mean, seriously collecting, it's probably been uh, three years. Second question, will you never see me coming, the Mandarin? Very funny one. And uh, so yeah, so now to get on to the next people. All right, the next set of questions come from Transformers337. And he asks uh, about four, maybe five questions. So yeah. So first one is, what was your first Marvel and Transformer figure? Um, when I first read that question, I was like, oh, geez, I'm never going to know. But as soon as I walked in here and looked at all my stuff, I was like, oh, it was that one and that one. I just, I just, I knew it. So yeah. Um, uh, the first one, uh, as far as Marvel, is the blob that you're looking at right here. That one, the Bill figure. Um, that was... I'm gonna say my first Marvel figure, it might have not been my dead first, um, and I'm sure it isn't, but my first, like, legit Marvel figure would probably be Blob. Um, I was in a, uh, a mall, and they had, like, middle sections, uh, you know, just, like, in the, in the hallways with the, with the, you know, real stores on the side, but they had, like, little mind, uh, uh, middle vendors that could be rented out for, like, a weekend or so, and one weekend, um, uh, 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 just like a collection, um, a store kind of rented out just one of those little spaces and I checked it out and they had Blob. I, Blob is, if not, he's, he's probably my favorite X-Men mutant. Um, I, I just really like him. So, uh, you know, I had never really seen him in person and I really did not, at the time, you know, I wasn't big on collecting or anything. So I really wasn't, uh, gonna buy, you know, eight figures to build him or anything. I saw him in the store. I, I, I believe I paid like 35. They were asking like 45. I got him down to 35 though. And I bought it super happy. I was just really happy to get that figure. So, uh, that, that definitely did stick out in my mind as soon 
soon as I looked at my stuff, I was like, oh, it's definitely Bob. Um, as far as Transformer, that's going to have to be, um, well, what happened was back, you know, nowadays, I know all the figures that are going to come out in, in a year, you know, I know them in a year in advance. Uh, but before, like in 2007, when the first Transformers movie came out, I was not at that point. I would walk into a, a store with a, you know, toy collection or toy display, sorry, and I would just be, uh, you know, if there was a new figure there, that was my first time ever seeing it. It was just, I did not know these figures. All right, sorry about that. My uh, camera ran out of space. So yeah, so I'm starting to really babble here. Let me uh, try to just really go through this. So the first two Transformers that I got were Brawl and Blackout. I found them in a store. I had just seen the movie and it was uh, really loved the movie, loved the villains. So I was so happy to see that they had uh, some really awesome looking toys. So Brawl and Blackout were my two first Transformers. Obviously the movie edition of each of those. So yes, yeah, so now his next question is... Um if you could have one figure that has not been made, what would it be? And, uh, it's really hard to come up with just one, so a couple figures that haven't been made that I would love to have are the three and three quarter inch, oh, sorry, three and three quarter inch Mandarin, uh, the three and three quarter inch, um, House Party Initiative from Iron Man 3, um, a Diamond Select Ironmonger, um, I know that there's definitely some more, but it's kind of hard to think at the moment. I guess I'm sure that there's some hot toys that haven't come out that I would love to get, but I can't I can't think of one at on the spot like this. Um, just looking around here, I guess that's it. Um, I hope that you know in the future they really keep up with making hot toys villains for Marvel. Um, oh, Ra's al Ghul hot toys. Would love to get one of those. So yeah. Uh, next question is just have to pull up. Uh, do you play video games? And um, have you ever thought about making a gaming channel? I play a few video games. I'm not a big video game person. Uh, you know, when I'm with friends, you know, I'll play a little bit, maybe Call of Duty and stuff. But just like when I'm alone, I really just don't play video games. So I have no desire to make a video game channel whatsoever. So very sorry if you uh, would want that. Um, and then I think this is the last question. Are you more of a Marvel or DC fan? Explain why. Um, by far Marvel. I love DC, don't get me wrong. DC is awesome, but Marvel is just... They're my cup of tea. I, I just, I love Marvel. Always have. Marvel's my favorite. If you ask me, you know, what's my favorite between DC, Transformers, uh, Star Wars, and Marvel? Uh, the, you know, the four biggest things I collect. They, Marvel's all the way. I just, I so enjoy Marvel movies. I enjoy all the movies, but Marvel are definitely um, the ones that I love. So there you go. So that's all the questions from him. Let's go to somebody else. Alright, next questions come from Dismaster102. Uh, and he asks, uh, what's your favorite part about collecting and reviewing? Um, just everything. I, I don't, it's, that's a really hard one to answer. Uh, you know, I, I love buying toys because I just absolutely love it. I mean, I don't know quite how to explain it, but I could never stop collecting toys, at least at this point in my life. I have no desire to stop, and uh, I absolutely love it. I love reviewing the stuff and having conversations about the toys with all of you, as well as getting the my the, my thoughts on the figure, you know, just getting them out. It just, it's awesome. I, I really love it all. I, you, my favorite part, I, I don't know, that that's, I just don't know how to respond to that. I just, I love it. That's why I do it. So yeah. Next question. Um... Who, if anyone, sparked your interest in reviewing? Good question. Um, I'm going to say this guy's name wrong. I know it. Pengu, I think, or Peng... Ha, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but the guy that reviews Transformers, uh, he did the first... My, my first time seeing a toy review was of his. It was of his long haul, uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen review. And um, that's just what got me so interested in uh, toy reviews because I had never seen it before. And I really enjoyed it. So I just watched a whole bunch of his videos and uh, found other people's videos and stuff. Another one that kind of got me more into uh, more into uh, wanting to a uh, review is um, FX Franz. Uh, I saw his reviews and I just really liked them and the stuff that he reviewed is the stuff that I collect. So that was just really... Uh, he was probably the one that got me thinking about doing it myself, I have to say. Um, and you know, very shortly after I started reviewing, I didn't... Yeah, I, I really, I reviewed it pretty fast afterwards, I think at least. So yeah, next question, getting back to his questions, where are we? Um, what are your thoughts on Hasbro's new 3 quarter inch figures? 
Are you talking? I don't know if you're talking about Star Wars, Marvel, or just both Star Wars wise. I think they're pretty poor. Um, you know, just nothing too exciting happening there. They canceled the vintage line, which is a fantastic line, so it's a shame to see that. And as long as the toys are still vintage quality, I'll still be interested, but I'm just not looking forward to them. I think 2015 is when Hasbro's really going to prove themselves about what they can do with Star Wars figures, with, of course, the next Star Wars movie. Um, as far as Marvel, they canceled the 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe line. Um, I, there are still toys coming out in 2014 from that line, so, uh, but, but we're near in the end, unfortunately. They really, they called it like a merge instead of a cancel, because they're kind of just going to merge it with their Avengers toy line, which is just a huge bummer. The Marvel Universe is, I think, it's my favorite toy line ever, so huge shame to hear that. Not, uh, not too happy about that, but still be buying figures. The Thor 2 and Captain America figures look awesome. They look like a huge step up from Iron Man 3, so as long as they are stepping up from Iron Man 3, uh, there's going to be some good toys, because Iron Man 3 was horrible, so I think that they're doing better. And was that it? I think that that's, yep, that's all your questions. There you go. Thank you. All right, that's the end of part one. Thank you very much for everybody who asked a question in part one. And uh, part two should be coming soon. I'm not quite sure how many parts there will be to this Q&A, but, um, but there definitely will be a part one in part two. So there you go. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the rest of your questions.